Welcome back to our video module on mechanics of materials. So over the past year I've kind of learned how to weld a little bit and you can imagine that if we wanted to get some pieces together we'd have to first cut some pieces let's say of sheet metal we want to cut some pieces of sheet metal into the sizes we want so here we'll start off with our big you know plate of sheet metal and I'm going to use these shears to cut it and I want to kind of cut it along here and when I do you know you can imagine one let's try and draw this one blade is right here you know when it's about to cut and the other blade is right here when it cuts and when you squeeze these two things together whoops let's do a different color when you squeeze the handle together it just slices right through the metal this to me is fascinating and it begs the question what's really happening here today we're going to talk about shear stress and what it means in the physical world so let's take a look at our previous problem right here I've redrawn it here in this case we're pulling the bar in this direction. We're pulling it longitudinally. We actually call this axial stress, where we're pulling it along the uh, basically the axis of you know whatever part we're we're dealing with. We could have just as easily. Whoops, we're gonna have to make some adjustments there. We could have just as easily said, all right, this is not the force that we're applying. Instead, we're going to apply some sort of I don't know in, in teal we're going to apply some sort of force in this direction. You can even imagine that that somehow there's some sort of surface right here that is supporting our beam and we have some sort of force we're pushing down. Well all the same arguments apply here. You don't care if you're this little particle you don't care about the total amount of force that's there you only care about your share of the load. How much of it do you have to deal with? And in this case, we call this phenomenon shear stress. And the concept is the same. It's still force per unit area. We often use um, tau as the insignia. Axial stress, we we'll usually use sigma. These two definitions give us an idea of the types of stresses we encounter when we apply when we apply a force to some sort of beam and it gives us a feeling of if you're a particle what is the experience you have in one case you're being stretched in the other case you're being sheared or kind of rubbed off in our next video module we'll take a look at the difference and the relationship between these two stresses in a more detailed setting.